Hello and welcome, my friends. It's me, Odo. We are back in our campaign of Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. Um, last time we helped people in Winterthun to see what stupid things they've done. Um, then I told you that we, I will do in between episodes, uh, we'll walk out of Winterthun and then I realized that there is a lot of room here that I didn't um, look, like here, I was here, I wasn't here, and here, and there. <clears throat> um, yeah, here I found a really nasty living tree that was nearly killing me. Yeah, I found some other tree men that mm. and up here <laughs> you see it's it's um, it's blank i found a trend that was so strong i couldn't beat it <laughs> I, won't, I won't go there i don't need it i think it's level 24 or something like this and it killed everyone <laughs> with... although there were some uh, demons that also fought it. So, I had, I even had some help from others. Mm. I won't, I won't go there. I hope it's not important. At least for a while. Mm. Also, I found here another tree that I didn't go near because it was the same as the one up here who nearly killed us and we don't have any spells left mm. I reloaded before I went there mm. before I went up here um, so I will have to do this um, conversation again there is some elf here half elf here mm. what's this a huge tree entirely turned to stone. The surface reveals ancient runes written in an unknown language. Okay. Let's talk to this one. Mm. Alamus and Sedge wait five years, five moons, and five days till the serpent ascends the staircase. Have patience. Will at least at last behold as the fish soars into the clouds. Okay. The half elf is still relatively young, but the hardships she has borne have turned her into a crone. How can we know that she's relatively young if she looks like very old? Her long hair is gray and tangled. Her face is sunken and her teeth are rotting in her mouth. She hobbles around the petrified tree, trading her broken fingernails over the carved runes and mumbling nonsense under her breath. Well, who are you? The churn, the identity of the mad half elf woman. Ah. It's a new quest. Who am I? I'm. Uh, Ma, me, I don't remember. Doesn't matter. She focuses again on the pattern of the stone runes on the tenth day after the winter solitude. The break branches of Rowan do not do or air. Let me take you somewhere. This is my place here, where the roads rise up to the sky. The roots intertwine with the winds of the heavens. Here where the truth has turned to stone, life has merged with death. Here, here. Uh, should we ask her after the criminal hour? The grass that covers bones does not know wrong. The storm that drowns out, out screams does not know wrong. The rain that washes away blood does no wrong. Okay, we could attack her, but why should we do that? Let's just leave. 
paying you no mind the half elf continues mumbling pointed freight behind her fingers over the petrified bark. Oak does not lie, Elm never tells the truth. Heed not the black words, ending the you will come with time. Okay. Let's look into the journal. It's not new die enemy. We need to uh, we need to know where the ivory sank. Okay. Tell Europe F about this thing. Unsounded alarm. What's this? Why can't we? Ah, because we, we already fought with him. We could have done there something else. Okay. There is no, no um, exclamation mark for this. Which was it that? Yeah, that's the price of knowledge. Is there a limit to the price that the scholar will pay in exchange for knowledge? Of course, there isn't, exclaims the exuberant neophyte who has just had her first taste of truth and is willing to do anything to prove it again. Suffering and hostility and degradation, cruelty and betrayal, no price. Until the moment comes when it is time to pay up. The only person who can speak on the price of knowledge with any authority is one who has already been obliged to pay it. Someone who has walked close enough to be that it is not undeath, but true final death, to realize that there is no turning back. Someone whose sanity has been asked what it would be like. Mind altogether. No, the price of knowledge can sometimes be too high. Gain knowledge by any means, but do not offer yourself as payment. If you do, you will cease to exist. You then will celebrate your discovery. Who then will celebrate your discoveries? Scientists and followers, called for someone who will not live to see it. Apt illustration of their evil. In the fate of one woman who strove for her, but one never imagined how devastating the price of knowledge would turn out to be. What? What? <laughs> Learn the identity of the mad elf. And they hear the word scientist. Most people picture someone respectable, well healed, working in a full equipped laboratory. But a true scientist may be like this woman, a little unkempt, three major league. In air, beating around the object of her research day and night, completely oblivious, oblivious to the withering of her body and mind. Who is she, and what mystery is she attempting to solve? Good question, which can't be answered by me. I think. Can it? There is nothing. No. Okay, we won't go up there. I won't fight with you. There is this blighted train. It wasn't that bad. Although there were two of them. Probably we could fight them again. Be up there. This was stupidly bad tree. Bad, bad tree. And up there is another one. But 
there is uh, not one, there are two. Oof. Ancient blighted wood. Yeah, no. We won't go there. Go here, please. Do not run into your doom, especially as we don't have any healing left and we don't have anything else left. Okay, let's move out there. Let there and let's take this as well. Again, my game is so I don't know how this happens. What's let's collect all. Let's move there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. That there we go. Oh, stop. Although the blight has consumed certain plants, some magic is protecting the area and preventing the decay from... Hmm, interesting. Wait, what? Ah, I forgot something. Ah, oh, she... Probably in Angel will end like this young half elven woman. Mm -hmm. So where do it do we go when we go this far? Oh, there is a way as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, random encounter. I'll go ahead. 
Yeah, please do that. Doesn't look like a fight. On the other hand, probably. Oh, yeah, just fight. What's this? Baphomet cultist cleric, the cultist smiles sweetly at you. Well, well, what have we here? A freshly minted commander straight from Greg. Here is what's going to happen, commander. You will give us specimen 367. We will bring it back to ease, to Master Bladesmith, and no one will get hurt. If you refuse, well, prepare to die. Specimen 367. This is a Rushale or my sword. I'm Ah, oh, it's the sword. Bladesmith, is it? Can I know who you creeps are? You are from the same lot that slaughtered my party, then tortured me for some dark experiments. Commander, just give the order. I'll wipe the floor with them. I have an old sword to sell. Specimen free what? Yes, yes. The specimen, the sentient weapon that was taken from us, a cheap ploy by the crusade. Don't try to deny, to deny it. We know who you, you have it. <laughs> a sentient weapon? This is huge. You really have one, Commander. Keep it for yourself. No lives don't deserve it. <laughs> Who is this paid myth? A great artisan and a teacher who renounced his name and past to serve the weaponsmith's craft. His demonic blades never break, his magic arrows never miss the mark. This, his creations are incredible. Although the piece you have in your possession is still far from perfect, it was not supposed to fall into the hands of outsiders, so we want it back. Maybe we can make a deal. How much do you think this specimen of yours is worth? The cultist smile. I think your life will be a fair price. I don't think that they can take my life. They don't look very impressive to me. Let's show these scumbags what's what, Commander, to battle. Is a truly unique item, a sentient weapon. Yeah. Why can't that the does this conjurer stop? <sighs> of course he does. Okay, pig. What do you still have? You still have the magic thing. That's good. So let's do the add. Move a bit away from the rest. Who will be next? No. No. This one will be next. How many hit points? Four points. We will probably be able to kill him in one shot. Yes. So menu, how about the glitter dust you have? I know you have some glitter dust somewhere. There it is. You put it like there. There he is. See? 
can see you. Okay, we'll chief. Uh, move here first, and then let's see. Color spray or burning hands. Let's do the color. wants the five. Oh, this one's a kind of character Darren had paradise. The paradise character is free. Okay, thank you. Do not show this. A level nine wizard. Nine wizard. Level eight. the evoke the next I will resist mm. Blinding Ray, why not? Wolchev, cover me, all right. Simply business. It's a haste. Really? Ah, that's too bad. That was that. Let's take no, it was, a, was a lot of stuff there. And let's move out. Okay, so someone is looking for my sword. Wait, what? Manage the stone maze. Ah, that's a fault. <laughs> Stupid. Okay, I will stop here for today. I will do some army business again. And we will do the 
um, do the quest for Winter Sun. Yeah, that's that. See you. Bye.